Hey everybody, Dry Dragon in Studios here. We are bringing you another status, another report. And uh, it's here Dave Dryden and Dustin Dryden, ready to give you status on our 24 hour comic book day. And uh, we last, I think we last gave an update, it's probably what, been four or five hours ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now it is 1230. Um, so we actually are winding down pretty soon here. Uh, we'll, we'll probably be ending around 4.30 today. That'll conclude our, our 24 hours. So uh, we'll probably do this one, and we'll probably do one more update after this um, to kind of finish and wrap things up. So let's uh, let's kind of just see where Dustin is here on his work. Um, okay. I know he's been working hard, so here we go. Yeah, working hard. I got one page done. Again, I'm, I'm kind of more detail-oriented when it comes to putting my pencils down. So... Um, <clears throat> Dave got a lot done, but I just got another page done. So um, here's what we got here. Uh, I think last we, we left off, we had this little picture here up in the corner, but it, we had to bring a little bit more story into it, um, add all the dialogue that was in the story. So we had to rearrange some things, uh, the layout and everything, and now it's a little bit more, um, uh, it makes a little more sense now. Uh, so when you read the story, uh, now you have uh, Tito and Bernie. They're in the warehouse still, and Tito's uh, talking to Gritz, and Gritz is still asking them to get the, um, the you know, their job is to get the uh, the monitor. They're monitoring like the signals and the visual and audio signals and stuff, and they need to get that to uh, command post because they're at that the, the vantage point where they can see everything. So anyway, Gritz wants them to take care of their job. Tito is and Bernie are supposed to be up on the top of the roof doing that, but they're in the warehouse. But Tito has, has kind of uh, he configured his device so that they could be in the warm warehouse uh, and and then look at what's going on outside instead of being out there. So what he did is they they made little little kind of statues, little fake false statues of themselves up on the roof and. You know, Bernie thought that, that, he, that Tito's a genius, so that's what he says in this little panel here. I guess it's a whole. That's what the this whole page is kind of talking about how Tito is um, just a smart little guy, uh, so they can uh, do things uh, easier and smarter. Cool. So, yep. Very good. Here I'm gonna hand the camera to you. All right, everybody. So I'll try to make this quick. Um, I was able to get four pages done. I'm now starting to work my fifth page. And uh, here we go. So we've got, uh, we last left off. And uh, here we are with, um, so um, here we are with Shepard. Shepard's with Grits. And they, he just, he's just notified the four guys who are going to try and saw off Bionic, Fo Bionic Fox's arm. Hey, hey, you can't, you know, we're not going to do this anymore because Mr. Rove over here has taken over the, the investigation and the interrogation. So these guys are walking off real sad. Here's here's uh, one of the guys, a uh, little alligator guy with a scalpel knife, walking away sad because he'd spent years studying for and becoming a, a, a surgeon, although never actually got the, got the degree and certificate. So he was looking forward to that, but but alas... Not anymore. So we'll quickly, real quick. Uh, so what's happening here is Rove is saying, "Hey, I need to get into the into the uh, special cell." So the only way to do that is to have Shepard uh, do a, an eye print and a and a, and a fingerprint, a hand print into the uh, the sensory devices. So once the the door opens, Rove is ready, ready to get inside. And then uh, now we just go back. Now we go to the uh, inside the the. Uh, inside the, the cell and here we go again Bionic Fox is awoken because the door just slams shut and he uh, he's kind of looking up and he hears a voice and the voice says hello hello Phileas Phileas is his real name and obviously he knows whose voice that is and of course that is uh, that's Rove so they recognize each other they start having a back and forth and conversation um, uh, also, uh, Bionic Fox is using the regrets of, of Rove and his past and his history against him, and they're kind of battling back and forth with a psychological jujitsu, if you will. And uh, so Rove just still says, hey, look, I've got you here. 
you know, we've, um, you're on the ground, you, you're, you don't have any of your bionics, so, you know, what use is it to fight me? We're taking you in. And uh, another picture of him standing over Bionic Fox saying, we've got you, man. And then Bionic Fox still, he's relentless. Bionic Fox still thinks he can, he can get away. And he basically is telling him, hey, it's only a matter of time. And they're staring each other down down here. And then lastly, this is the last page I've, I've come to here. And all of a sudden, um, you know, Bionic Fox says it's only a matter of time. And all of a sudden, kaboom, something happens outside the cell door. Bionic Fox is laughing and saying, see, I told you so. In comes Shepard, says, we need your help, Rove. Or we, we need your help, Rove. We need every, every man on deck. So there's a disaster going on outside, and we have uh, an invasion. And so um, Rove is concerned because Bonnet Fox will be left here alone. He says, look, I can come help you, but you, you need to have someone to stand guard. And uh, here they are. He's, um, so Shepard says, I've got to get my two of my best agents, um, Agent Finch and Agent Croker, and they'll be here to protect him. So Rove looks back at Bionic Fox and says, I'll come back for you, Bionic Fox. And then Bionic Fox just grins and says, I don't think so. So there we go. That's how, that's how far we've gotten here. Um, I only have about two or three pages left of the, of the storyline. Um, we've got about four, three or four, three and a half hours, something like that, before we're done today. So I'm hoping I get it done, but we'll just see. We'll give you an update here in, in a, a few hours. All right. All right. Thank and, you so uh, much for watching. And... And uh, we look forward to talking to you again in a few hours. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.